What's up guys, video information here. So yesterday on January 15th, I bought seven more shares for an average cost of $15.48. That came out to a total um, cost of $108.36. I'm now making a dividend of $1.30 monthly or $15.60 yearly. The financial term would be annually. And this is Apple Hospitality Rate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Come on, there we go. So right now for the day, it's up 1%, 16 cents. And I'm not buying this for the share price. I'm simply buying it for the dividend, but I, I might as well cover this in case you guys are in interested. It's up 1.82% in the past week. Um, I don't care to look past that because I've only been in it for about a week. But now I have a total return of 2.8%. Th this is a long-term position, so I don't care about the average cost. This is just simply covering over it. So you guys should never be dwelling if it's a dividend long-term company that you're investing in over the average cost because you can always lower it. You can always lower it. And that's not saying always buy when you're 5% up, 10% up because then you're never going to really profit. But it's not bad if you buy, buy, buy when others are afraid to buy. If, if that makes sense when everyone's telling you to buy you, you know you probably should buy because stocks will be cheap but that doesn't mean buy all the cheap companies just because they're cheap that means buy companies that make sense that you genuinely are like hey i see this company around in five years ten years especially when we're talking about a dividend company the share price is just simply a value that everyone's saying it's valued at that's all it is anyway though um that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, throw me a like and feed you information out.